are. At 239 early on, Pika, Pika A and Fringe A as well as Spirit A all know what they have to do in order to finish in the top spot in this competition. And again, we also have King of the Hill or Queen of the Hill times as I think the fastest time was put in by KDR on that 10, at 21.2 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready, set. And we are off in the second and second to final women's final heat here on Sweepstakes 2005. And it is Pika versus Pika, and Pika's A team pusher is having a great run as she's run out to a big lead over the B team and uh, is getting ready to make the transition off to Hill 2. And it uh, looks like they'll reach the transition point at about 20.5 seconds. So that is the fastest queen of the hill time we've seen so far. Pika gets ready to make their shove off into the free roll. And uh, the men's B team yesterday had some issues with that. It was a good shove off. Uh, could be a little bit more solid. Pika's B team is a good five seconds behind them already. So we aren't likely to see any action or interaction between the buggies in the shoot. Uh, given that they're already about three, 400 feet away from each other. And uh, that's a good, safe thing, unless there are any mechanical problems with Brimstone this morning, as it already has been through two exhibition races. Uh, now, uh, we are approaching the stop sign, and it looks like they'll reach the stop sign with a split time of one minute and one second as they approach the flaggers in front of Phipps Conservatory and uh, at the first crosswalk right in front of Phipps Conservatory. Uh, looks like Pika's B team buggy is still way off in the distance and the lead has been extended uh, to about five seconds over them. And going into the shoot, Pika is kind of skidding their backside around, but they are cleanly into the shoot. And uh, coming out the other side, let's see how much of a roll it gets, as it does look to be going a little slow out of the shoot. And uh, the pusher does catch up to it at about two windows. So not the fastest rural. And uh, Pika's other buggy is coming out of the street about five seconds behind on the backside. So it looks like the two teams uh, won't have any problems with interacting with each other. No need for conservancy or uh, any sort of other uh, tactics just to make sure that the uh, buggies don't interfere with each other. But Pika's coming up the backside and uh, they are doing the uh, Nike black sports bra look uh, popularized by, I think, Brandy Chastain of the U.S. American, uh, US American um, soccer, women's soccer team. But they are wearing push this signs in the uh, back of their shorts. So uh, just have to make sure they make their clean transitions between Hill 4 and Hill 5. And Pika pushes off with 2.13 off the clock. So they, if they can put in a sub 25, 28 second time, this could be a low 2.30 score, much faster than yesterday's heat. So they are coming up towards the finish line area. And uh, looks like on the clock, about 2.29, 2.30. Looks like they'll be finished crossing the finish line actually at about two minutes. And uh, now they'll cross the finish line at about 2.39, so. That puts it really close. Uh, it will be too close to tell until we get the official number as to whether they're gonna bump out our number one position. And it uh, looks like Pika's B team is still coming up to the finish line and they are crossing at a time of about two minutes and 54 seconds. So uh, probably not quite as strong of a performance as yesterday for Pika's women. Still a respectable time, and I think it was just half a second faster than KDRA, but we'll see when the official times go up. And also, all times are not official until both.